My name is Ali Zomorodi. I am a uh, neurosurgeon at uh, Duke Raleigh Hospital. I specialize in cerebrovascular disease and skull-based tumors. The biplane angiography suite, which we recently installed, is a very unique facility that allows us to do uh, interventions on the blood vessels of the brain without having to open up the head. The real difficulty with trying to put catheters into the blood vessels of the brain is that the three-dimensional anatomy is very difficult to appreciate. The standard angiography suites, the kind of angiography suites that everybody's familiar with are the cardiac cath labs. They only image the blood vessels in one plane. And with when you're working with an organ that has relatively fewer blood vessels, such as the heart, that's not a big problem. You can go from looking at it in one dimension and try to imagine the three-dimensional uh, structure and be able to navigate into those blood vessels. The brain has a much more complex uh, network of blood vessels. And so when you're trying to look at them in just one dimension, you can miss um, some of the nuances, some of the details. And it makes it very difficult and also less safe to do an intervention to try to uh, get a catheter into one of these blood vessels. There's not a lot of uh, facilities uh, in the state that offer this uh, biplane uh, um, technology for us to be able to do these interventions. Uh, Duke Raleigh has the first one in Wake County that's dedicated to the treatment of pathology inside the brain. What this means for the patient is that we now have the capability to treat very complicated diseases of the blood vessels of the brain without having to do open brain surgery. And that's very significant. The typical operation that we do on, on, on the, say, brain aneurysm uh, requires about eight hours of craniotomy. That's eight hours of us working with the patient under anesthesia, the scalp has to be opened, the bone of the skull has to be removed, and we use a microscope to do the very delicate dissections. And it's very meticulous, it's very time consuming, and it also takes a lot out of the patient. And it takes a whole month for them to recover from an open brain operation like that. That's if everything goes smoothly. With one of these uh, catheter-based uh, treatments, we can treat the same pathology and the patient can go home the next day. They might have four or five days of just a low-grade headache, but that's really it. They don't have a big scar on their head, they don't have the pain that's associated with the surgery, and the risk of complications, uh, both cognitively in their ability to think, and their short-term memory, and things like that, as well as uh, the complications uh, physically with paralysis are actually lower with these uh, less invasive interventions. Our ability to treat complex cerebrovascular lesions and skull-based uh, tumors it depends very critically on our ability to be able to visualize and intervene on these difficult uh, uh, blood vessels uh, of the brain. So I think this was sort of the last area that, that we had uh, any difficulty uh, uh, with our with our capabilities and now that we have this suite we have the ability to treat both uh, uh, acute ruptured and, and elective uh, brain aneurysms. We can do embolizations of complex uh, uh, brain tumors uh, here um, and we can treat vascular malformations in the brain. These are things that we were not able to do very effectively.